Hi there, and welcome to another video. My name's Simon, and in this video, I want to have a go at roasting a chicken in a 12 centimeter zebra billy using my firebox stove. Now in order to turn my zebra billy pot into an oven, there's a couple of things I need to do to it first in order for it to work. An oven requires heat all the way around. If I just stick this straight on my um, firebox, it's only going to get heat from underneath and the chicken will therefore already cook from underneath. So I want some more radiant heat coming you know, from all the way around. So I'm going to, I need to create something where I can put fire on the top of this as well. So what I did is I converted one of these hexamen stoves, I'm sure you've seen these before, folding stoves, S-bit makes some, these, this one is a British Army issue one. Um, I drilled out these points here, which form the hinge, okay, and got rid of the, the bits that form the pot stand, so I was left with this, okay, and then I made a small adjustment to this little nib, okay, I bent that down flat, I made a couple of cuts so that that will slide underneath this point here where the uh, where the bale handle normally is on when you buy a zebra it has a, a rigid bale handle which I took off um, so that's the, the point where that used to go and that's going to slide under here okay now as it is that's just going to fall off so I need a, a way of holding that on so I have some wire here again I'm going to thread that over and through underneath and just twist that on. Okay, so now I have something that isn't gonna fall off. All right, that's gonna become my top heat platform. As I said, I'm going to use my 12 centimeter billy can. Um, I have got a larger billy can, but to be honest, I don't take it with me very often. Um, so for me, I wanted to see whether it's possible to do a roast in a smaller billy can, um, which I do tend to have with me. And if it's only me eating or maybe me and Maggie, I don't obviously don't, don't need a huge, great big chicken. It's only going to be for me. So I've cheated a little bit and I've bought a Poussin, which is basically uh, um, a young chicken. It is still a chicken. Um, but it's only sort of like 24 weeks, I believe. Um, so uh, much smaller and it will fit in my Zebra Billy. So the other things I need to do is I need to create a little platform in here um, to put my chicken on. Um, so it's not directly on here because it would just burn if it was directly on there. So I just need something to keep it off the bottom of the Billy. And for that, I've just got a um, aluminium tray should do. Here I've got a Ziploc bag with some uh, chicken seasoning in. So I'm going to stick them in there, get them nicely coated. There we go. Orange chicken. And it's going to go in there like that. So I haven't got any of those metal clips um, that you can get for the Zebra Billy. Um, which hold the, the lid closed. It wouldn't work with my uh, wire bail handle replacement anyway. So I've just put some wire through there again. Okay, just to hold the lid on, stop it falling off. Now I mentioned that um, you need to have some heat above. So I have 
just happened to have had another fire on the go anyway. Um, so I've put some, I'm just going to transfer some coals and put them on straight onto the top of this. Um, but if not, you could just light another fire on the top. You know, just, just, just light a small fire as you would do normally, uh, straight on the top. You could probably even use um, hexamine blocks or something like that, you know, esbit blocks, uh, anything really. It's going to take about 45 minutes, so it hasn't got to be anything that burns for hours. You know, 45 minutes should see this chicken done. Now this idea isn't my own, you know, um, Firebox who make these stoves have come up with this system of using this, um, using a zebra billy, but I've only ever seen it done with much larger billy cans. Okay, it's had 50 minutes, five minutes more than it should have had. We'll get rid of these. take him off the fire. Well, it certainly smells good. Okay, moment of truth. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Lucky it had that on the bottom. I think that would have completely, completely well. It's a bit crispy, a bit crispy on the bottom. And that doesn't look too bad at all. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Look. Hmm. That's moist. Well, I can't quite believe how well this came out. I was a bit skeptical. I thought maybe it would be too small. The chicken would be maybe too close to the side of the billy can and it would, well, it has burnt a little bit in places, but you know, it's only a bit of skin that is, you know, I'm not bothered about that. Roast chicken in the woods. Simon, a bloke eating roast chicken in the woods. Max, come on. Hmm? A bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, total success. I'm really pleased. I uh, wasn't expecting it to come out quite so well. I only carry a 12 centimeter billy cam most of the time. So now at least I know that I can cook a small chicken in it. So I'm really pleased. Obviously you can cook uh, anything of a similar size in the same way. Um, you know, you could roast squirrel, you could roast partridge as a similar size, um, uh, pigeon. Um, and, uh, and what I was also really amazed by is how moist it stayed. You know, it wasn't wrapped up in foil or anything like that. It was literally just in the pot. And I guess it's just the closeness of the chicken to the edges of the pot, which kept it nice and moist, kept all that moisture sealed into the tin. So thank you for watching and supporting my channel. It's uh, really appreciated. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. That would be great. If you haven't subscribed, do so. And don't forget also to hit that uh, notification bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get notifications of, uh, of uh, uploaded videos. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.